Okay, so to prove the two circles are similar, I'm going to begin by selecting my center circle with center and radius tool, which says select center point and enter radius. And I'm just going to pick two, I don't know, a random, let's see, we'll call that radius 3.5, and I'll pick a point here and I'll call that radius 1.5. And that could just be any two points you want, but I'm picking these two so I can kind of see them. Now what I want is I want to construct a vector. The vector should be in distance, same distance and direction as A to B. There's a couple ways you could do that. You could use this, you know, create a vector from the point, right? So I could just say from A to B. That didn't work. Let's try B there and hit escape. Let's try it again um, with a vector from point. So from A to B. Didn't like that, did it? Oh, sorry. Let's do a vector this way, from A to B. There we go. So now we have our vector there. There's another way you could do it, actually. And what you would do is you'd go, call this vector V. V is equal to the difference between our X values here. So it is negative 3.24 minus 4.86. And then the Y transformation for that vector would be negative 3.6 minus 4.28 and that would give me a vector v which should be exactly the same vector as you you can see same vector then what I'm going to do is I'm going to begin by doing a translation so my translation that I'm going to start with is a rigid translation it is translate by vector I'm going to translate circle C distance and direction of this vector here that has now mapped C over here to what we call C prime you can see it there but the problem is, it is not the same as this circle here, D. Uh, it has a different radius. The center is the same. You see H and K from our formula there. Those centers are the same, but the radius is different. So now what I need to do is I need to dilate this circle. So let's do that. I'm going to come over here and select dilate. I'm dilating this circle from that center B and I need my scale factor. Now my scale factor is new over old. My new radius I want to be 1.5 divided by my old radius which was 3.5. And once I do that, I now have created this C double prime transformation which tells me it's C that has been translated once by vector U and then dilated by a factor of 0 0.43 which was 3.5 over 1.5 from point B. And now you can see algebraically there's exactly no difference between these two circles okay therefore since I have mapped this circle C onto circle D by using only the transformations of a rigid transformation and a similar transformation that these two circles must be similar and because I could do that for any two circles, these were just random circles, so these two randos here means that all circles must be similar. And that's my proof.